G'day everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an on the back wheel video. Today is going to be a lot of fun. Why? Because I'm comparing my modded KLR650 to a stock KLR650. How am I going to do that? Well, I don't know if you remember, but just after I got the bike, I got stuck for like four hours in a gully. It was an absolute nightmare. I'm taking my modded KLR650 back to that exact same trail. It's going to be an absolute blast. Disclaimer number one. It is raining and it rained last night, so it's gonna be wet <laughs> and it could be really hard. We'll see how it is when we get there. Disclaimer number two, my bike is very modified. However, I haven't done probably the first thing you should do when riding off road and that's changing the foot pegs. <laughs> so we got the stock rubber foot pegs that I'm gonna be riding on slop. It's gonna be challenging, but it should be a lot of fun. I have tried to change them. Uh, I ordered a set of foot pegs, however they didn't fit. So I've had to go through the refund process and we'll sort that out in the future. So we're gonna do this commute section, then we're gonna hit the trails and then we're gonna hit up sea break eventually. It's gonna be an absolute blast. I think it's gonna be a lot easier even in this slop today. We'll see how we go. Why is it gonna be easier? Well, number one, I'm more comfortable on the bike. You know, I've had the bike for like nine months now. I'm much more comfortable on the bike and its capabilities and my capabilities. Number two, it's modified. And number three, I'm with a couple of fellas. They invited me on the ride today. So if we get stuck, we can help each other out. You know, lift the bike out of bog holes and, um, you know, just help each other out in general. So while we're doing this boring commute section, if you haven't watched the channel before, I'll just briefly go over the mods. We got a front upgrade fork kit from YSS, YSS rear shock. AX41 tires from Bridgestone, they're a 50-50 tire. They're very good at most things, road work, dirt, gravel. In the mud they do struggle so that'll be fun today what else have we got we got some ebay mirrors sic crash bars sic bash plate i've got the pro taper bars and also bark busters too an fmf exhaust and the snorkel yanked out of the airbox as well so it's pretty modified except for a couple of little things that i'm gonna do in the future for all the mods i've done to the bike i have done videos so make sure you check them out in my klr 650 playlist oh goodness it's wet isn't it where even the road saturated so before we hit the trails, how do you think I'm going to go? How do you think the KLR is going to perform compared to a stock model? Let me know in the comments down below. Alright, let's skip this section, get to the dirt, have a play, and then uh, hit up some tough trails. Let's do it. Alright, we are on the dirt. Definitely a bit wet. Yeah, it's slippery. Might have to let the pressures down a bit today. <laughs> Woo! So already, my AX41's in this wet, kind of damp conditions. The rear tire <laughs> is much worse than dry. Much worse. So, I'm already predicting that to be a bit of an issue once we get to the harder stuff. One thing about the AX41s is there's actually not a lot of tread on them. Um, they're a good tyre, but I definitely like a bit more meat on them. Foggy, lovely. <laughs> Can't see much. <laughs> it's a beautiful section, isn't it? Especially in the fog. <laughs> These AX41s are skaty as <laughs> on the clay stuff. Is that a big slide? Not deliberate at all coming into a corner. Front and rear. <laughs> Good fun. Not what I was after though. <laughs> They're going to be a struggle in the mud. Oh God. Nervous about it. <laughs> I'm really struggling on this stuff. There's spots where there's just like a soft surface for it gets hard underneath. And these are just skating on me, sliding out. It's, it's uh, nerve wracking. <laughs> just gonna keep the pace a bit slower, that's all. Here's the boys, they're on DR650s. One thing I'll say is they have uh, better tyres on, 606s and something else in the front. They are much less skatey, their bikes looks much more stable than mine's feeling. Amazing what a good tyre does, eh? Well, good off-road tyre. They're not hanging about either. Ew. <laughs> the guy 
closes it in a good pace. Try and catch up a bit after turning my GoPro and stuff on. Whoa! Rear shock's really good. I think it's better in the front. Oh, a little bottom out. clicks in the rear would be very appreciated. Woo! Bottom's it. <laughs> what an awesome section. Could not have went that hard at all with stock suspension. Yeah, we're bottoming it out. Couple of clicks into the preload and the rear shock would be perfect. I'm getting a bit silly, don't get me wrong. Yeehoo! Are you guys getting along good? Oh, ABS. Go away, ABS. So here we are, C-brake, motorcycles only, the guys are going to go ahead, this should be an absolute blast, the start is already saturated. Yeah, right idea there. Oh, I'm going through. Now, there's a lot of lantana through this. A lot of ducking and dodging, trying not to smack your head. Already, this is super slippery. Wish I had 606s on. That's probably going to be my next tyre. Oh, I'm sliding around like crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's moist, everyone. We're going to get wet. Duck, 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 duck. Up in the pegs. Face full of lantana. Ah, get below, get below, get below. Oh. Come on. We're spinning. Spinning. Oh, tyres caked, I can feel it, yeah. <laughs> All right. Be good if the antenna was in here. Then I could stand a bit more. Oh. 
This is worse than last time I ran. Whoa! Pressure's gonna get lowered as soon as I get up here. Wait, right on the back. Come on, you bastard. <laughs> Woo! What do you want to do? Um, we'll get there. I got that rock out of the way, so. Alright, let's get the bitch up there. Three, two, one. Hang on. <laughs> so it begins. All right, good start. I'll let the pressure down. We'll see how we go. Put it in first. Yeah. Lantana. If it didn't have that. Be a lot easier, we're just saying, to stand up and hold your momentum. Bottom there, out, bottom out, ABS. Use the rear brake a bit. Be great if someone cleared the track for us. Where are we going? Where are we going? Here we go. Let's get this big bitch around now. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Well, that's a start. And it is wet as, and there's lantana everywhere. AX41s, this is gonna be a great challenge for them. See what they're made of when the pressure's let down. Slower. Slower so the ABS doesn't kick in. Ooh. ABS, ABS, ABS. Go away. Oh! Big bottom out. Feet up. You can see here, you still got the issue of ground clearance, but now I've got a bash plate. Not as worried. Under. So now my fans kicked in. That's good. It's not that hot today. It's warm, but it's not hot. Oh, drop off. Might bottom out. No, nah, we're good. ABS, 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 ABS. Foot pegs are really slippery. That's gonna be the other big challenge. One thing I'll definitely appreciate is some uh, steel grippy foot pegs. Go around. Probably let out a couple more PSI in the front rear. But this is way better than these stockos. The stockos you would um you'd be hurting. You'd be hurting. This looks different. Yeah, this is all washed out. This is where I couldn't get up. Get 
vibe. Got there. All right, where are we going? Where are we go, boys? I didn't see. Yeah, so first time, this is why I got stuck, because I couldn't get out of here. Bash plate banged. Right from the go. get out of the fucking thing yet. Just abuse. It's starting to dry out. That's through a heat. Yeah, the smoke of your tire is drying out. Get more grip than I thought. I think I'm just bottoming out. I was like, go to left, go to left, go to left. <laughs> Jason's turn. It's really slippery. Yeah. Oh, we'll get from here, I reckon. You jump on, we'll do a good crack. This is going to be difficult, guys. Ready? Way we're beat. <laughs> Ready? <sighs> nah, I pulled the strap off. Strap off. Fuck. 
second. Able. Woo! Great success. We made it up. We used a tow rope and a push, but we got there. So this track actually meets up just up here, but to keep continuity with my first video where I got stuck, we're going to go down and go up that section and loop it around to there. Why? You know, continuity. And it looks like a fun track too. So we're going to head down here. It's pretty treacherous. Yeah, nice. We're going to ride down, then we're going to help each other all get up that section because it is really hard and slippery. This is actually really bloody steep. Probably a silly thing we're doing going back down, but it's fun. Oh, good start. Come on, baby. Ta-da! Alright. There we go. One out of three. Oh, very nice. Woo! <laughs> Just gonna send it. Where's my entry points? The biggest one. Which way are we gonna get up? Down there or up here? Big rock. Big rock. That one. Three, two, one, and go. Ready? Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I didn't see it. <laughs> I did not see it. Evidently. <laughs> the tie's in the middle of this rock. Ride it out, you reckon? Yeah, boy. Stick in the leg. So this is where I got stuck last time. We're going to try maybe go up there or on the left here. We're going to try and go to the left. Good start. Gee, this thing's heavy. Yeah. I was like, why can't I go anywhere? All right, to the left. There it goes.
ready? Busters. All right, my turn. The boys went up here. It's going to be quite difficult. Head across. Nah. I'm framed out. Ready? Yeah, we gotcha. Yeah. All right. Full send, everyone. This is really slippery. Yeah, boy. Nope. Oh, I thought I was there. Oh, I'll get it there for me. Fuck. Ready? Get on the white. <laughs> Foot pegs. Come down. Come up, sorry. Then I spring down. <sighs> Easy. Fucking traction. Got no traction everyone. I'm trying. <laughs> I'd let the size out a bit more. <laughs> Come on baby. Where do you reckon go that way? Try it with a pull. Just a sec.
Can I get up somewhere without fucking falling? Be really appreciated. But it doesn't look slippery, but it fucking is. Ready? Big rock. <sighs> All right, let's have a look. Left, straight. Thank you. Here it comes. Hey! All right, we're nearing the end. Get a run up. Oh. Oh, come on. He's tires, guys. I'm no good for this kind of stuff. Infinitely better than stock, don't get me wrong. I'm watching these 606, and they're good riders. Just crawl up places. While well, I'm sliding. Okay. Heavy. Oh. Hey, rest. All right. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Woo! All right, we got out. That was... An absolute mission, I'm not gonna lie. It was easier than the first time I did it because, you know, I wasn't as worried about damage and 
I got that log as well. I don't have to worry about that and going around it. But it was still really hard work. Uh, without these guys, I think I would have been struggling just as much, if not more. Like it was, it was full on. The rain didn't help. Bloody hell, this never lets up, this ride. The rain did not help, but it adds to the fun. Suspension is just a huge improvement. But your limiting factor is still your um, ground clearance. It's a real handful. Scraping on everything and struggling through ruts. So we're going to start heading back. Um, we've never been on these trails, so it's going to be interesting. We'll just keep following it and we'll pop us out somewhere eventually. I mean, we just went through all that business on sea break, so I think we'll be fine. I don't think this ride gets ridden much. Considering my ah, 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 the amount of lantana. We'll see where it pops out. My foot pegs are so slippery. I keep slipping off them. Oh shit. Treat, 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 lantana, lantana. Pause it down so I don't get blind. Well, it's opening up a bit, kinda. After going through scrub. See where it goes. Once you get past the land tenor and that, this is actually a really good section. Right. That's a no. I'm covered in lantana. Look at it all. Look at it all. Get off. All right, we're going to double back because that was a dead end. It was all washed out. How cool is this old concrete bridge? In the middle here. Epic. This looks cool. Muddy, slippery. Beautiful. Look at this. Big hill to the right. Awesome. Look ahead, Curtis. We've been doing that today. I've been looking at the ground, not ahead. Alright, so heading out of the forest, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to double back a couple of times. It's at that point where there's a couple of trails we could have kept going. But, yeah, when it gets this kind of late and you're tired, mistakes happen, got to get home, etc, etc. Hey! Good? It happens, people. It's happened to me a lot today. All right, everyone, we made it out alive. Thanks to the boys for inviting me. I had an absolute blast, and thanks for tackling sea break. That trail is a struggle at times, especially for these adventure bikes. They are a handful. So the big question is, how does this compare to the stock KLR? Well, the biggest thing for me is the crash protection handlebars and hand guards. They make the biggest difference by far. I dropped it probably at least a dozen times today. A lot of it is slow speed, but this is a 200 kilo bike. When it falls down, it's a lot of weight. These bars have not bent. 
they're still intact. My levers are still here. The handguards are an absolute must. They're a good set of handguards. When you hit trees, when you hit lantana, when you do all that kind of stuff, the levers aren't catching, you're not crushing fingers, and you're not breaking levers, which is an absolute pain on the trail, an absolute pain. So that is fantastic. The SRC bash plate. Having a bash plate in the KLR is an absolute must, and this, this bash plate's fantastic. I was able to tackle heaps of rocks and some logs and not worry about damaging my engine casing or ripping out that sump bolt that's exposed when you don't have it. So an absolute must for me. Crash protection, definitely good to have, definitely good to have, because the bike seems are always full exactly where they are. I mean, that means they design them right. So definitely recommend that crash protection. The tyres, these tyres are way better than stock tyres, but today it was very, very wet and these struggled and they let me down a bit. Lucky the boys were there to help me out. Uh, if they weren't, I probably would have had as much trouble as last time maybe, trying to get out of everywhere. Um, and that was in dry conditions, so a definite step up, no doubt. Overall. The modern KLRs are way better. The foot pegs need to be done. Need to be done. They must do. I'm, I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it, all right? But definitely do them as one of your first mods, along with crash protection and everything. I'm going to cruise home. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below or send me a message on social media. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. Check out my other content. There's always more stuff on the way. And keep it on the back wheel. Catch us.